the Diablo 2 beta is still live. So let's uh, let's continue Piss Baby's adventures. It's nice to see that I can... I did the wrong thing. I want to make a game. A public game. But we can... Well, we're here. So we've killed Radman. That's as far as we are. Lobby is the button I was looking for. Let's go. Still, no one's ever joined any of my games, and I can't help but to think that maybe it's because our name is Piss Baby. Let's see if we can break the curse today. Did we get any of the staff or anything? No, I don't think so. As I remember, we just kind of ran out there, and then I, uh, I had to leave. Frustrating. It was for us, man. I I didn't realize that the beta ended over the weekend, and I thought I had a bit more time to continue playing it. So I'm like, oh, I'll come back to this. And when I tried, um, it was over. You have Just before I get Charge Strike, too, which was upsetting. But now I have something to look forward to here. I can start whipping out Charge Strikes in just a minute. Maybe I can get a Mercenary yes, now. Citizen. Let's see, who we got? Asab, Durga, Fajal, Pratam, Wahid. Wahid has blessed aim. We don't need that at all. Vic Yat's pretty cool, too. We'll try to hire him. Nah. Still no mercenaries. That's okay. One second here. Um, where is the control for... The mini map. There you go. Mini map right? That kind of. Yeah, I'll put it on the right. Normally I'd probably go left, but I don't want to block it with my me hole there, so. Yeah, we still have an attack rating for now. But that's going to go away in a minute. We're going to stop missing enti like entirely, and that'll just help us so much with mana. Like, it seems like we're missing quite a bit for 95% chance. Or maybe that's my imagination, considering we didn't miss a single shot there. I didn't get my cube yet either, so I guess that's what we're going for first. Looking for the Halls of the Dead in the um, next zone. Far it's not Far Oasis, that's the one after it. Um, dry Hills. I like Dry Hills because it kind of sounds like a, like that Super Mario's, or sorry, um, Paper Mario Zone, Dry Dry Hills, or Dry Dye Desert, I guess there was hills in there. Well, that was a game that defied expectations. Much as, this is, I mean, this is pretty fucking cool. I'm excited to be able to play this and, you know, but come on, Paper Mario. You know what, I just had a thought. We might have gotten waypoints. I should check that real quickly. I think we got into the Halls of the Dead last time, so there's a chance we have the waypoint for that. I think we did. Yes. Ooh. All those unravelers look... Yeah, sorry, those unravelers look so cool now. I really like that. Judging by my experiences last time, I'm not going to play too much with the graphic switch button, but uh, maybe, maybe they fixed that. I submitted it as a bug, so there's, there's, I'm sure I wasn't the only one. Um, but I'm still not going to play with that right now. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll try that later if we're feeling 
adventurous. Auto gold pickup is nice, but the radius could be a little bit bigger, I guess. I'm gonna go buy a whole bunch of mana potions. We seem to be doing okay on like maintaining a decent supply of health potions, but mana potions I cannot say the same for. So we're just gonna buy like maybe three slots worth in here, in addition to what we can carry on our belt, so we don't have to run back to town or get slowed down to the point where I'm like, we should just go get potions. I really like the how smooth all the, and good all the animations are. Like just just there when I was facing the other direction, like the way she kind of like pivots on her feet and turns the other way, it's very nice. You appreciate it after uh, 22 years of looking at the same animations, you know. I guess 21, 20. stairs. The stairs don't auto-complete on the minimap the same way they did. You have to get kind of... Like, I don't... It's hard to say that there's any indication that there's stairs there, huh? Like, I don't see any, really. That's definitely different. That's maybe the worst change I've seen. Or, you know, more accurately, the only thing I don't like so far. Come on, Ice Head. Jesus. Alright, this is very bad. Oh, if we died in there, I don't know that we'd get our body back. So let's uh, reconsider our strategy here. Yep. That was a problem we were running into last time too, the kind of getting stuck on enemies and then looping back to your previous point. Seems like that's still happening, but I'm hopeful they'll fix that in the like month till the full release. Or at least make it a little better. Oh! Shit, I didn't notice the blood spreading from them afterwards either, or like the guts that come out of them. No, that's really cool. Looks like the curse of Piss Baby continues. No one wants to hang out. Or maybe no one knows what goo is.
Ooh, get away that poison. There's probably your yeah. I was gonna say there must be an unraveler nearby, but anytime there's an even small group of skeletons. They very much are this X version of the Fallen. But, you know, a little more uh, versatile, because they can resurrect any undead as opposed to just the Fallen. How to be getting close to the cube? I was hunting down. Oh, oops. I was hoping to find one of those mummy sarcophaguses. I want to see how those look now. It looks kind of funny with a little super cut out in the box. Like it looks kind of like a magician's box, you know? Like uh, you can see Chris Angel hiding in that. I think he does cooler tricks than that, but I can't think of any other magicians. Well, I remember the guy from that, that show in the 90s where it was like, Magician's Tricks Revealed, but he wore a mask the whole time. Or maybe he took it off at the end last episode, but I stopped watching before that. I was discerning probably like 8-year-old, if my memory serves. the lifesteal is going to help us, because I'm pretty sure that's only, like, the lifesteal only applies to the physical damage portion of what we do, and that is very small. It's a small proportion of the damage we do, so, uh, you know, it's probably, oh, shit, we do have a cube. Okay, well, should have looked in the stash. We could crunch this stuff down, it looks like we did a little bit already, but... Not much. Um, let's get more potions and I guess head on to the next zone. At least we got some decent experience in the last bit of that tomb. I would have been so confused if I opened up the box down there and no cube came out. Okay. So now we're looking for the far oasis. We just gotta... is this it? We're just going to run along the sides like we were doing before, <coughs> and find the exit that way. We've already got the waypoint and everything else useful to us here. The only other thing, as I mentioned, is the tomb in which you get that cube, but we've explored that possibility. We don't need it. And that looks cool. I haven't thrown that yet. some luck with the poison javelin before. I'm going to keep trying that. Mm. Damage on that seems, or sorry, the damage on that seems to have not really kept up with the enemies. Alright, we'll go back to power, mm, sorry, uh, lightning strike, lightning bolt. We can use that handy new compare button they added. There's less belt slots on this, but otherwise it's a better belt. Faster hit recovery is cool. It can be really valuable for Amazons, since we spend a lot of time in our hit recovery animation. 
Anytime we're doing our little kind of dodge things that we get from our passive and magic skills, that counts as, um, like, that that animation would be sped up by that stack. Alright, let's look at this well for a second. You can... It looks wet down there. You can see mud. And I also noticed that when we drank it, it um, like slowly emptied out. And look at that. It slowly refills. That's really cool. It looked kind of silly that it refilled as soon as I did that. But it's just... Uh, I guess it's a set timer from the first time you use it. And I use them pretty close back to back. I'm not sure if our chances are better continuing to search down or up the stairs, but we'll stay down here for, for now. Just so we hop around this. Oh. appreciate that they didn't change the sound effects for any of the item drops or anything like that. I've, I've trained my ears, oh my, sorry, I've trained my ears over years to react to sounds like small charms dropping. Well, I guess all charms, I think, sound the same, but still, you know that sound. You know, like, a ring or a piece of jewelry dropping. This has got to be uh, Far Oasis. You know, part of me kind of liked the uh, chunkier font that they used to have for you know, zoning in and out of places. Okay. So we're almost... Well, we're at least more than halfway to uh, charge strike right now. I'm trying to avoid that guy's pose, but wow. Holy shit, those, these things look so much cooler now, the sand maggots. Wow, that's gross. That's a really gross looking thing. I mean, they were nasty before, but like, I really don't like the way their bodies move. So we're looking for the maggot. Ooh. I think we've run into these guys. I'm not... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen these things before, but they also look hella cool now. They kind of remind me of, um... Kha'Zix, for any of you who've played uh, League of Legends. sell our stuff. Classic Diablo 2. Thank you. 
There's just so much more clarity. I mean, obviously, it's it's a much newer game, right? But there's so much more clarity in the animations. Like it, in the uh, previous thing, it was really kind of hard to tell how those blood raptors attacked you. It did kind of look like they just whiffed their bodies at you, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not imagin imaginative enough to have pictured them using their tails to like whip at you. But it definitely seems to be that's exactly what they're doing. Hey. That's gross. It's all fleshy. What do you think that's made out of? Like bees. Bees make their hives out of like spit and wood pulp and whatever else. Uh, ants and you know uh, termites all have their own thing. What are the what is that thing made out of? Do you think like? They all form together in a big gooey ball, and eventually they just start spitting. Like, I don't know. Does, 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 does some certain females just start real big, and then males just attach themselves to them until they form a big meaty colony that spits out the young forever, until I show up and stab it? These are the kind of questions that I need answered. Being a wildlife researcher in this world would suck, but you'd probably be buff as hell. Or maybe it wasn't that bad until, you know, Diablo's corruption screwed everything up. I should have probably paid more attention to the story or listened to what people around the town are saying. They might they might tell me that kind of stuff. Alright, let's try our poison javelin again. A lot of weak enemies that might work here. So this game is pretty fucking great, as I'm, I've said like 90 times now. But I do, so I'm gonna nitpick about things, and I think it's kind of weird that the uh, San Megat Young look the same as the big ones. I, I think they should have kept them looking more larval and gross. Like it, they look pretty fully formed. They just like most bugs kind of have a couple different forms, you know. That's fine, but it's a, it's a cool enough game that I can make that nerdy ass. Observation. Well done, Blizzard. That's something they haven't heard a lot recently. down there, so, uh, through process of elimin uh, elimination, it's gotta be up here. That poor black raptor there just got nailed with this. It did nothing else but kill that one guy real bad. Okay, 
we're one bar away from, I'm assuming, a much easier time with big groups of people like this. Charge Strike, as I've mentioned before, it hits, it like releases multiple bolts, so we'll be, um, hopefully, <laughs> not stuck in this poking a million dudes individually situation for more than this much more experience. Found the lost city. That'll save us some time uh, eventually. Here it is. This place looks awesome. It was kind of like a um, an ugly environment the first time. Maybe that was sort of a technical... Like, there's so many enemies in here, and it's it's pretty packed, that maybe they had to like, sacrifice the texture quality a bit or something, but... It doesn't seem to be the case in, in 2021. Nice. We're, like, maybe a stab away from uh, 18 now. Okay, two stabs? Two stabs. Hell yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, 1 to 66 doesn't sound as impressive as, um, 1 to 324, but... Yeah. It's better. I'm sure we were massively overkilling most of the enemies we were attacking at this point, so whatever damage we're doing here is, uh, more efficient, at least. Ooh. It does lead to nasty snowballs like this, though, huh? where, since we're hitting so many more people at once now, there's a lot more retaliatory charged bolts being launched in our direction. Oh, my twins. Fraternal, not identical. I was just checking if we had anything socketed to make it worth upgrading those things right now. But until we do, I'm not gonna... we can just collect them. That's a new sound effect. It's nice. It sounds like meaty and thick. You know, like a, like a, someone dropped an actual big ol' fucking staff with this sharp bit on the end. You know, I discovered yesterday through some conversations with my friends that you can get a surprising amount of medieval weaponry on Amazon. And I'm not saying you should out be out there supporting Jeff Bezos, but like I'm saying if you find yourself in a situation where you have to, you know, arm yourself with medieval weaponry in, in the face of maybe some sort of dungeon you were forced to compete in, or uh, zombie scenario, or, you know, what have you, choose the fantasy of your choice, you could, assuming Amazon is still operating, get that stuff pretty easily. And if they're not operating, maybe go to check out the Amazon warehouse and see what kind of cool shit you could get. Like, okay. So I know they don't they don't always ship out this stuff directly from Amazon warehouses, sometimes it's fulfilled by somebody else. But there's a chance that if you get to the right warehouse, you're gonna find like some of those Elon Musk flamethrowers. And I know those things are basically just giant lighters, but uh, still you could probably start a fire with it, you know, campfire. 
feel cool about it. So we're out of our backup potion supply. But yeah, we're, we're being so much more man efficient here. How much... Six. Okay, so yeah, this... Wait, no, actually, that's wrong. We were using Charge Strike. So, or Power Strike. So the mana cost is... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong shit, that's why. Four Charge Strike versus... Um, yeah, 4.5. So yeah, still not much of a difference, but it seems to be helping a lot. Probably because we're, you know, not having to hit each person. So maybe we're spending four mana hitting three people instead of... Well, I guess that would be like 13 and a half in the other case. If we were using just the other attack. It's also helpful since we're re releasing, what is it, three charge bolts, our kind of, our low end damage there is a little bit higher. It's kind of like rolling, uh, sorry to go back to D&D shit again, but like rolling like, like a greatsword versus like a, a battle axe, you know, like, same numbers technically, but one of them is 2d6, so you have, you have a better chance to attack, or do more damage. A lower floor. Higher floor, I guess. Yeah. This is pretty classic Diablo too. There was always, there's, it's always been kind of hard to get to the goo doors in this place. I guess, I guess pathing is a bit strange down here. Excuse me, I keep getting tongue tied. to hop back for mana soon. I'm kind of hoping against hope that we're going to make it to uh, floor 3 before we have to go back. Looks like we cleared most of it, so it's probably just at the end of this little uh, path we're on right now. But this little path we're on right now may not be so little. Yeah. Also, dying down here would it would not be fun to get our body back. We'd have to walk for a long time through a bunch of messy old maggot hallways filled with slippery bug blood and stuff. We don't need that. We got these nice heavy boots of charged bolt. You want to get 
bug guts on that. Let's go talk to Grease. Uh, there's, there's a gan or no, his name is Elix. Sorry. No. Elix, Elzix. That's what his name is. Let's talk to him. He gambles. So we could use this, but I want to keep using our shield. Every time you open up his uh, menu again, he's got different stuff. We have a fair amount of money, so I'm comfortable gambling a bit of our funds away. The hand X looks really cool now with the like the wrapping and stuff. I like that. And the kite shield looks neat too. Alright, we'll gamble for one more thing. I don't think pylons are as good as short spears. Uh, we'll try it anyway. Good call. Alright. Money well spent, I guess. Oh, we have uh, 10 stat points. So, we don't need attack rating as badly anymore. What's our chance to... We have a great chance to block. So maybe we'll just put some, like, 5 points into stamina. And then hold on to the rest in case we run into some fancy new armor that we want to wear, which we're definitely going to. We, we don't have, and it's unlike, like we don't have final stats, you know, yet in terms of our strength for end gear game or end game gear. But it also doesn't matter. It's the beta, so we'll just we'll just you know hold on to what we got. This could be good. We could socket that with some of the cool gems we have. Actually, we have two runes as well. There's some low-level runes that take two um, two things in an armor slot, but the chances that the two we have just by chance form a rune word is pretty low. Still, there exists a chance. I don't remember what runes we have offhand. Okay, here's Cold Worm. Get Chunk. Huh, forgot we had those. We'll sell them. Come on, Auto Gold Pickup. There you go. Okay, so we've got half our staff. We're like the first half of a heist movie right now. Mm, I 
shouldn't have sold that, whatever. Okay. Now, what would be cool in armor? Regenerate mana? Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. And attack rating, don't care. Strength, don't really care. Towel F, I do not think is a rune word. I don't feel like looking it up at the moment either. So we'll make, um, this also I'm sure won't be the last armor we find. With sockets. Hopefully that'll help us with our mana hungry issues a little bit. And we found the entrance to Lost City just down there by where we found the maggot lair. So let's run over there and start stabbing some old zombie men. Yeah, it's definitely much better to have charge strike than to not. I love it. The uh, Lightning Amazon was one of the first kind of like successful characters I made in my Diablo 2 youth. And that was only because I had a like you you this game was so good at being social back in the day. We'll see if we'll see if I screwed myself over by calling myself Piss Baby or through my um, unwillingness to join other people's games. We'll try. You know, we'll get out there and Okay, but that's not the point. Uh, I, I, like, when I first played, there was this dude who I met who eventually was like, hey, uh, this is kind of how you make a character, and, like, help me figure it out, and that was cool. Before that, you just kind of saw other people's builds, roughly what they were doing, did your best to emulate them. And, I mean, the internet existed, but, uh, it was kind of hard to know if you were building your character correctly, or if the build was any good, because I didn't have really the gear to make anything work, right? So, anything I made sucked. And the guy was like, hey, you can make a pretty cheap, you know, lightning Amazon, and they're fun. And they are fun. They're also great at, yeah, sorry, great at uh, doing the secret cow level, because the cow king is immune to lightning. So it's, like, far from impossible for you to kill him, but you have to, you know, you have to do it a little more purposefully than most other people. Like, if you're a a frozen orb sorceress. You could just shoot one wrong orb and then the cow king's dead. Cool. Let's check that out. Uh, the Dark Elder has a unique look to him here. He's got a little cloak. I don't think really any enemies had unique looks like that previously. That's really neat. 1 to 92. That's a pretty significant jump. It's even kind of scaling better than this. We're getting 40 extra, sorry, we're getting 43 damage here, but here we're getting, what's that, uh, 28 times 3, so that's 
you know, 56, 72, something like that, approximately. Yeah, I know we got stats. I'd like them to not tell us that all the time, because we're going to have stats for a long time. Um... that wet mouth noise there. Where is this exit? We're looking for the, um... Claw Viper... See? I forget actually what that zone's called. The Claw Viper Temple, but... It's, it's a branch... Okay, there's stairs. That's what we're missing. Alright, I'm actually getting a little bit hot, so I'm gonna hop to town and readjust where my fan is. Oof, didn't mean to double use those. I'll be back in uh, about a minute and a half. Thanks. Alright, thank you for your patience there. That's much better. I also uh, opened a window, so it's quite dark in here. Speaking of quite dark, uh, after we got to that last zone, you probably noticed that everything got super dark. We should go talk about that and find out what's going on. Plus three to poison explosion. If we were a poison necromancer, that would be a boon to us right now. I think that's, I mean, that is the highest it could roll. Plus three just naturally on a wand is the best you're going to get for a specific skill. Oh yeah. This place kind of sucks because you have to go to Dragon to buy your scrolls. He's a little out of the way. I've heard that you are I've been researching this lengthy eclipse, and I believe it to be the work of Claw Vipers. Find their temple beneath the desert sands, and you may find the source of it. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. Give me some scrolls.
stamina. Stamina is such a pain in the ass in the early game. For, for quite a while, really. Once you start getting a lot of life, and it goes up pretty high, quickly, sorry, with vitality. But, you know, you don't have a lot of that in the beginning. Especially if you're trying to be smart and, you know, not lock yourself out of gear upgrades because you just dumped too much in vitality. Alright, cool. Here's our waypoint. That's probably not the exit. Just click from the direction it's heading. Ugh, you know what? We gotta check, though. I'm sure it's gonna end just ahead of where we went. You can even kind of see it. Yeah. Valley of Snakes. We're gonna need that eventually to get Lightning Fury. I don't really like spending... <laughs> like, I know it doesn't matter too much in the long run, but it's my preference to like, keep my primary skill at the highest level it can be all the time, so... Yeah, I don't know. If I were playing through this game, I'd probably hold off putting a point in there until I killed Azul and got a, got a skill point that I couldn't place in Charge Strike. Oh, you know what, actually, though? That's been magic. We sh okay, that's level 24, so we don't have to worry about that one yet. Was that guy's name Paul Mad? I didn't read that fast enough. Oh, we're getting close to the Arcane Sanctuary. I'm excited about that. I'm really curious how that's going to look in this uh, cool HD universe that we find ourselves in now. Snakes, where are you hiding your treasure? Back to the idea of being like a archaeologist or a, a nature researcher in this world, wildlife wildlife researcher. I, Indiana Jones would hate this place, man. He'd hate it a lot. There's snakes that have arms. That's got to be worse than regular snakes. If you're, you know, you got your phobias going on. I often think about that scene. I can't remember which Indiana Jones it is. It's not Temple of Doom, and it's not Crystal Skull. That but where he's like in the library and he just starts smashing up the floor with the them standy thing. I forget what those are called. And there's a bunch of snakes underneath it. It's so cool. There's a third direction. I thought we'd gone everywhere. 
and then I just didn't like see it as we walked past it, and I'd have to, you know, go back and retrace our steps. It, I'm hoping no. Nope. The only thing I was trying to pick up there is the only thing I didn't pick up. Okay. Thank you. There's probably not much that's going to be able to compete with the Umbral Disc for a while now. Or probably not for the rest of the life of this character. I think we got lucky finding like, a decent, unique shield while we're playing a Lightning Amazon. I think we benefit from literally every stat it has. That's, uh, that's lucky. I mean, if we were a caster, we'd be... We'd appreciate the armor, I guess, and the extra block chance, but who gives a crap about, you know, some of the other stats. Specifically the blinding on hit, I guess. But we get to make complete use of it. It's lucky. We've been blessed this day. Well, when we killed Endariel many days ago. This looks like our destination. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna go learn a dirty secret about our friend Jaren here. He, um... Like, this is a nice town, you know, considering especially what the, uh, the Rogan came and looked like. This is a, definitely a step up. But it's not the world's nicest place. Although, I, you could argue that it's probably the, among the nicest places that exist, but that's not the point. The point is, Jaren is, is living a much better life than any of his subjects. That man, as we're about to see, has like a four-level harem beneath his house. There's, I don't know how he would stock, or like, you know, stock is kind of a gross word to use, but how he would keep four floors of harem with people working there, you know, when the town is this size. He's got to be getting people from all over the place. Uh, you know, it just seems like there's a lot going into keeping his harem going, and maybe some of that infant money could be used on infrastructure here. Like, Lysander here doesn't have a, a roof over all of his stuff. It's hot out here. You could make this place a tourist destination for more than just the, you know, scary snake people. Bureaucrats. I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. The great Vigerai summoner, Horizon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events too, such as the imprisonment of Baal within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horizon's sanctuary, I'm sure that you'd hold some clues okay. to the tomb's lo- so, similarly to how uh, the Dark Wanderer that we're facing, or like chasing down this whole game, is the warrior from Diablo 1, and Bloodraven is the rogue, the guy we're about to go hunt here, hey Jaren, is the mage from Diablo 1. the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered 
by a merciless band of hell-spawned demons. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Okay. That's definitely what you tell the police or adventurers. Like, yeah, um, people got scared and I let them live in my harem floor. It was used to be called my reading floors. Like, you have a harem, dude. You, like, it's not like a, you, it wasn't in use, I'm sure. Maybe I'm being harsh on, on Karen. Maybe I'm just jealous. We should kill this man who's making our lives harder. Here's cool. I don't know if I just. Please, no one open up that door. I got. These guys are. They're not all that deadly, but man, they slow you, and it's, it's it makes it a challenge. Yeah, maybe I just usually had the music off when I was playing this game before, but I don't really remember this track. to go into the center of this place. The exit's right here. Let's not go into that big scary room full of a bunch of guys that will slow us down and make us burn through our resources. Sounds like a like a, you just found a clue in LA Noir. That was such an exciting game when it first came out. And then shortly after that it was kinda disappointing. Please don't do that to us, Diablo. Don't do something weird in between now and next month to make this less cool than it is at this exact moment. So I haven't really been keeping too much of an eye on it, but I think we're doing... I think we're doing better with um, mana, with our skull shirt that we bought. Uh, I just had a thought that we might as well uh, go hire an Act 1 mercenary, since it's the only thing we're allowed to have. We'll get, just judging by how annoying those stupid cold ones were, we'll get one of those for ourselves. Uh, Eliza Page Blaze is a cool name, but she has fire arrows. Oh, we've got Paige Basanti. I think we already have a lady named Basanti. Paige is the highest level, so we'll go with her. What? You mean I can only have Basanti and I have to just level her up the whole time? This is gonna be bad. Alright. She's... She's not gonna make it. I, like, also the... Uh, I don't know, maybe they changed it, but the way mercenaries used to level is that they have to be in zones that are level appropriate for them, not necessarily you. So, uh, she's gonna be getting piss all experience out here. It's just if that's... we'll leave this page open for a second while we kill somebody and see if... see how much that bar there jumps. Oh, not at all? Yeah. 
But we tried, right? We tried to give her a better life. Didn't try hard, but there was an effort made. shield. My goal with our strength is to keep us able to wear the best armor that we can see. So right now that means one more level of strength. I don't know, there's been probably some, some sickos out there who'd level up their skills not five at a time. But I'm not one of those people, so I'm not I'm not gonna give myself 48 strength. We're, get, we're getting 50. Only time I do that is uh, when I know my end gear and I know exactly how much I need. Then I'll then sure I'll I'll go to specific numbers. But otherwise, increments of five. You know, you gotta leave your TV volume on an increment of five or two as well. That's actually that used to be a thing that I'd have to do, but um, my TV doesn't have like bars on it anymore. When as you turn up the volume. That seems to have died, uh, I don't know, I, I was gonna make, yeah, a, a long time ago. Okay, let's get some mana potions. Excellent. I do have the project staff. I thought we found another skull a moment ago. Maybe I already added it back in. I thought I didn't, though. Good day. school teacher who played Diablo 2 growing up, and there's a kid in your class one day named Gayglash, and you're like, it's a familiar name, but I can't quite place it. Then you're, you're playing through Diablo 2 again, and you, you're you like, oh shit, they named their guy after the drunken Act 2. They named their little kid after the Act 2 drunk in Diablo 2. You'd have to wonder if that child is okay, because that's not really placing high aspirations for your kid. It would be weird to be a gamer teacher and see children named after video game people that you recognize. Like seeing a kid named, like, as an example, for, for example, Zelda, you know? You'd be like, ah, okay. You either really like Robin Williams or Zelda games. You run into a kid named Daxter. Or banjo. Cellar level 3, the entrance is in the center now. So we're getting pretty decent, I mean, we're gonna get better experience in the Arcane Sanctuary, but it's good here, and the groups aren't too big. So it's kind of worth running around and poking some people, try to, try to hit level, I guess, 20 before we get down there. I 
I'm not confident in our uh, Durial killing ability. We might have to join a public game for that. In the face. Ooh, yes. Check the superior pistol sword. It's a pretty good weapon. Three sockets. We could put that on a level one, like well, on a pretty low level barbarian. It would be a decent weapon, especially with three sockets. Give yourself some options. And with the uh, with the shared stash between characters, it would be really easy if I wanted to just throw that on another character. I really appreciate that. I change the things. As I said before, there was so much drama from people like stealing a bunch of like stealing their like friends' items during transfer sessions. It was smart of them to admit that there was a way around that and implement it. Hey, what? To find this arcane fortress. There was a ghost man there for a moment. This place does look great. These floors look super luxe, man. Like I bet it looks like, it looks like cold marble. It feels nice on your feet as you walk across it. If I had a place like this, I would keep demons as slaves, too, just to be like, Hey man, check out how cool my house is. And they'd be like, Yes, master, it is a pretty cool house. I'm like, yeah, you're a goat person. Well, there's a lot of weird morality there. It's weird to think that, the, you know, the sorcerer from, or the wizard, I guess, from Diablo 1, now decides to keep demons as slaves. He saw how that worked out for everybody else, man. It just, like, apart from, like, the weird morality issue of having slaves at all, Having demon slaves just seems like you're definitely asking for some sort of horrible uprising or <clears throat> demonic corruption. It's long. Oh man. <clears throat> I wonder if excuse me. <clears throat> I wonder if someone had just like got together and wrote a series of cautionary tales if people wouldn't make these kind of mistakes. Maybe our world would be closer to this if some of like the Brothers Grimm hadn't written all those stories about not wandering off into the woods. Even the floors are shiny and reflective. That's really neat. So I think at this point, mathematically, let's check. But I'm pretty sure Charge Strike is officially better than Power Strike now. Yeah. Can't carry anymore. 
All right, I'm gonna try to hit the G button, and I'm sorry if it crashes things, but I, I wanna remember... Yeah, I didn't think there was any candles. Yeah, they've added so many nice details in, like, the background. It looks cool here, too, but it looks kind of like a Windows 95 screensaver. This looks like a... Starry Night or some shit. It looks really good. Jeez. Wow. Kind of, like, it's nice to be able to switch between the two and, and just kind of get an appreciation of how far we've come. Like, that was just pixels moving in the background, and it always felt so good. But... Until this very moment. Like, damn. Good job, team. to be named Warp Eye, because it sounds like war pie, like a battle pastry. And that's not tough. I guess Piss Baby isn't a tough name either. you can use the shared stash with uh, between hardcore ca between hardcore characters. I don't see why they wouldn't let you do that, but um, <clears throat> that sounds fun. It sounds like playing a hard make it sounds like it would make playing a hardcore character a little bit less intimidating. It's our, like it's so much though. Like death in this game is essentially inevitable. Maybe you'll get through nightmare or like normal or nightmare without dying, but you're not getting through hell without dying. Just at least I don't think I could. I'd have to. You'd have to really be smart and know what you're doing and like plan a specific character for that. Uh, and it would be a little bit easier if you could be like, well, I got a pretty successful like sorceress, so someone who could have an easier time doing something like that. So she can you help know, fund my next guy. And sure, you could do that with transfer, but I've said before, there's been a number of problems with it. I guess more accessible is what it makes it. I super appreciate the half freeze duration on this ring, so we're not going to get rid of that. Uh, this ring's like the only thing we really need on it is the five percent magic find, and that's that's more of like a want, you know. Doesn't matter too much. Oops. 
So you also, for the gold, you have a stash that you can keep character or share between everyone, which I like. That's nice. It's good, because sometimes you want to have guys who specifically just... Well, you could. I like a barbarian who specifically just hunts down gold for use on other characters. You know, for gambling and stuff, you know? So that would make that really easy to facilitate, too. It just seems fun. It's, there's a lot of stuff that... Uh, when I play this game by myself, or like even with friends, uh, I keep weird hours a lot of the time, so maybe someone else isn't on when I want to do a transfer. And now I can just be like, fuck it. it makes it much more playable. It's a, good, it's a good trap to keep people playing here longer. It's like when the company you work for starts offering like in-office lunches, and you're like, hmm. But that's really just so you don't leave your desk for as long. Yeah, she thought he was a weirdo. She's not wrong. It's funny that there's all, like, just from the way this game works, you have all four of these quests active. Alright, what's our symbol? Triangle. So that seems to be a bit of a glitch. If there's, if the um, little swirly quest completion thing is going on, you, you can't click onto another quest and check out what's going on. That's a little bit annoying, because every time you finish that quest, the Act 2 Summoner quest, you're going to want to open your, like, flip your thing open and check out what your symbol is, and it's always going to be, like, pulling you back. They're gonna, they should fix that. Does Dragon have a beard or a mask? Maybe it's just a very thick beard. I'm actually curious about these. I just want to see how they... None of these are all that good, but they're... Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> they're also not expensive. So I want to see how they look on our dude. That looks cool as hell. Wait, I didn't actually check if this was the right one or not. <clears throat> I was distracted there. Ooh, is that a unique hat? The Quaff of Glory. I guess we stab people's eyeballs. Or in that region a lot, because we have a lot of blind target. I'm also curious if that's a unique 
graphic for this, um, it looks like it. It looks like that's, um, not what your normal helm would look like. When, if we go to town and they have one for sale, we'll check it out for sure, but I'm guessing that's, uh, yes. Hey, cool. So that isn't the right place, but we ducked in, killed one guy, and got a uni cat. So maybe, maybe I was just listening to some sort of spirit, like, heart of the cards type situation. Hey, look at that. That's our goal. I don't... Again, who knows how it's going to go trying to kill Burial. We'll see. Ooh, okay. Having uh, hit blind targets on two things is actually pretty fun. It seems to be working really often, and uh, you know that's that's helpful. Seems a little mean to stab blind zombies. They've they're already at such a disadvantage, but. We'll get over it. Okay. Um, helm, helm. Definitely a unique graphic. And like a little bit of color change too. That's really... That's a super nice detail. And it makes me happy that it's in the game. I'm really excited just to... That means like every time I... <sighs> Fuck. That's just so exciting. There's so many cool unique items in the game. And I'm... I'm kind of under the impression now that m at least many of them are going to have a unique graphic and probably like the super cool ones that you always cared about and wanted to find like uh, who knows like a Dark Force or Nightwing's Veil or um, well those are the two that I always wanted to find the most uh, something like that probably has a cool ass graphic like a Death Spat or Death Spathom sorry oh, or Death's Web Death Spathom I think and Death's Web those are both really cool too you can probably guess how I like Blizzard, Swords, Races, and Necromancers. Judging by the items, I'm like, yeah, imagine finding that. So I know we do know, like, we're kind of not. Oh, shit. Uh, one second. This... We gotta fight our way out of this death hole. So yeah, we're not heading uh, quite towards the exit, or the um, orifice it seems, but I want to try to hit one more level at least before we hit Daryl, because again, not feeling confident about that fight. If he absolutely destroys us, and it looks like there's no hope of us trying to like do it ourselves, I'll see if I can find a game with someone else in it. But Duriel's a really hard boss. It's it's he's just hard. Like you need you need to find someone else who's got like a strong early game character. Like if you're in a game with a guy who wants to be opposing in bone, bone necromancer for for example, he's probably not going to help much. And it might just be harder because the bosses scale up or any everything scales up when many people are there. So that guy might be a hindrance. That's like that's maybe a bad example. That's they're a fine build, but. 
you know, some things don't really get their main skill till 24, or uh, a little bit higher. So at this point, not everyone can really put up a decent fight against me. I'm a lightning Amazon, so I, I'm, I might be okay. But there's also the chance that he'll just stun me and punch me around and I'll go like, and be in, you know, it'll be a bad show. What about a broken heart, Lysander? Three buyers. And that's what? There's ten of those, so each one of those is ten percent. Remember when, I think, not the first generation of Pokemon games, but the second one had that experience bar that ticked up after you did every fight? I really loved that. Instead of having to go back and check, at, like, after every couple fights and be like, oh. Granted, you didn't need to check. You could just keep playing and you would level up. The same as if you didn't, like, a washed pot never boils sort of uh, system scenario. But I did. So it just saved me a lot of uh, flipping through stupid menus. Probably saved me $3 million in Duracells. Okay, I can still hear an Unraveler attacking somewhere. I don't know that we can get past this huge swarm of skeletons to get to him on the other side, though. Maybe that was him, but I think there's one this way. Hey, you know what? That doesn't make sense. This way. Me just trying to point to which direction I think the enemy's in gave me so much respect for weather people. <clears throat> Imagine spending in there. Yeah. Excuse me. Staying in front of that green screen and being able to keep your orientation and being like, and the weather system moving here. They probably have to really get practiced at that to be able to not look like, you know, um, idiots. I still got mana potions, never mind. Thank you. 
we're gonna stock up big here, and I'm also gonna I'm gonna run to the washroom before we dive into this probably poop your pants scary experience. It's more of like a safeguard against me having to buy more shorts than anything else. But all the same, once we stock up, I'm just gonna run to the washroom real quick. It's gonna be hard in the like heat of battle to throw all this shit on our hot fires and stuff, but it is an uh, it's kind of our best bet, so we'll have to try it. We're still so close to 20, so you know what? We're gonna when we get back, we'll hit level 21 and then go fight him because I think like let's see, the difference between that is another it doesn't show us, but it's probably gonna be maybe like 100 damage a hit or something like that with the three shoulder like if we hit him with all three charge bolts, which he's big, we will. So let's try to do that before we get in there. But that'll be just in one moment. Thank you. All right, thank you for your patience. We're back. We're gonna go kill a few more dudes and try to get level 21. We've been doing pretty well in here with this. It's it's such a great spell for like clearing out guys in the back lines and stuff like that. It's just fucking so versatile. The only time you're gonna start running into trouble is when you get to lightning immune enemies, which certainly exist. 
But, I mean, at least they're like a tanky character who's capable of blocking. And that's just like sort of their normal build pattern. So they've, they've got like a ton of survivability and like... Also, dodge. Not everyone can avoid enemy spells the way that a Amazon can. So they, they don't end up being like quite versatile good characters even with their occasional limits and abilities. The damage there is another, let me try to do some math, fuck, 27 each, so that's, uh, what, uh, 81 more damage? I think that math works out. I'd... Yep. This level, we're... I don't think it's worth trying to grind out another level to get a slightly better chance at killing him. We were already close to that one, so it was worth it, but I'm not going to do that again. We'll stock up and uh, throw our body at Duriel. Let us hope he is a kind man. What is the button C to bring that up? Okay, we'll put all the plus points into vitality before we try this. back there. No reason not to grab that. This looks really cool too. Hell yeah. Okay, before we get too excited, let's drop a portal. Hey, does it look like some of my fears were unfounded? Come on, piss baby. One more. Hell yeah. Wow, that went so much better than I was expecting it to. Uh, he only, he only, it only happened once, but there was that attack that he did that, like, stunned me, and you heard, like, a doo doo, -doo noise. Uh, if he continues to get that off on you, you just kind of get pushed back, and then you, like, it does a fair amount of damage in itself, and then you're also getting chunked by his, uh, Holy Freeze aura pretty often. So you end up dying pretty quick to Duriel a lot of the time, and I guess just there we had the damage to stop that from happening as quickly. Hooray. I'm very pleased by that. Go piss, baby. You're stronger than all of us. And I'm pretty sure this is where the beta ends. Which is sad, because I'm, I'm just starting to fall in love with piss, baby, here. Not for us. Obviously not for us. Getting closer to being for us. So at least for somebody. We'll put it in here alongside assign this bleh, alongside this shield sword that I kinda wanna use on somebody. What do you have to say? I'm sorry things didn't turn out as you had hoped. Go and remember us fondly. You know, you bothered me far less than most. He seems like a pretty nice guy. Crusty exterior, soft interior, like a good piece of bread. Well. Few could have come this far, let alone discover the true tomb of Talrasha. Unfortunately, I hear that Diablo and Bale have eluded your grasp. This is most unfortunate. If you wish to travel east, I have authorized Mashif to give you passage by sea. I imagine he should be very anxious. Thanks, dude. So yeah, if you don't talk to... I don't... Again, they might have fixed it. But if you don't talk to Drognan, 
when it says when it asks you to, uh, when like the claw viper shit happens and you just kind of rush forward enough, it can be possible that Jalen won't let you pass. Like if someone teleports you into the arcane sanctuary, it's possible that that guard guy won't let you pass to get to talk to Jaren who's inside. So you have to make a new game where Jaren will come walk over to you and then you can get through that way. And it sucks and it's a pain in the butt. Well, there you go. That's the end of Piss Baby's quest, I suppose. You know what? It's about time that I um, take my little dog out. But I think after I do that and grab some food, I'll come back and play maybe a different dude. And see, uh, see maybe what a druid's like. I did play a druid a little bit, and I like got enough to see what the were where wolf trans like, oh, sorry transformation looked like, and that was really cool. So I'm kind of curious to see how all of his other spells look and stuff. So um, maybe I'll take a look at, at that, or I mean I don't know. We finished we finished Amazon, so and these two aren't available yet: necromancer and assassin. So we could choose barbarian, paladin, sorceress, or druid. Barbarian, I think, might not be all that interesting, given that, like, you know, mostly melee attacks for a long time. The Paladin falls into a similar trap, but he has auras, which I'm kind of interested to see. Sorceress is fun, but a bit, like, you know, come on, it's a sorceress. It seems like the stock standard choice. Druid also, he can do everything, so maybe that's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now, but, um, maybe inspiration will strike me in the meantime, or maybe someone will have something they'd like to see. Who knows? Either way, we'll figure that out maybe an hour or two when I come back. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. It's been quite a bit of fun. If you've enjoyed yourself or would like to see this sort of thing more in the future, hit whatever applicable button you see around you and um, you'll get an alert when you know I post new videos or I go live or you know what have you. So again, thanks for your time. It's been great. And